السلام علیکم دس از جنت علی کمال اینڈ آئی ایم طاہر ڈینڈسا ٹوڈے وی ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا دا میٹنگ آف پی ایم ایل این دا سینٹرل ورکنگ کمیٹی ٹو بی ہیلڈ آن دا تھرٹی ایتھ سپٹمبر دین وی ول آلسو بی ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ دا سی این آئی سی کنڈیشن وچ از ٹو بی امپلیمنٹیڈ فرام دا تھرٹی ایتھ سپٹمبر دین وی ول آلسو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا جے کے ایل ایف ورکرس ٹو کراس دا ایل او سی آن اکٹوبر فورتھ اینڈ دا ان دا لاسٹ وی ول آلسو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا پریزنٹ پولیٹیکل سچویشن اینڈ آ فگر آف دا ویک اسٹے ود اس زندگی کا ہر اجالا جڑا ہے اس روشنی سے جس کی توانائی سے ہر شے ہے روشن جیسے آپ اسکائی الیکٹرک کے ساتھ اسکائی الیکٹرک ایک ایسا اسمارٹ سولر سسٹم جو نہ صرف سورج سے آپ کے کاروبار اور گھر کے لیے بجلی بنائے بلکہ انٹیلیجنٹلی اسے مینیج اور اسٹور بھی کرے اور اضافی بجلی گریڈ کو فروخت کرے اسکائی الیکٹرک کا کوالیفائڈ اسٹاف ہر فالٹ کو دے فوری ریسپانس جبکہ موبائل ایپ سے آپ اپنے سسٹم کو مانیٹر بھی کر سکتے ہیں اب بجلی کب جاتی ہے اور کب آتی ہے خطرہ نہیں چلتا اسکائی الیکٹرک کے ساتھ روشن دن رات اسکائی الیکٹرک پاورڈ بائی انٹیلیجنس سدائے صاحب دا میٹنگ وتھ پی ایم ایل این سی ڈبلیو سی ایز ٹو بی ہیلڈ آن تھرٹی سپٹمبر سو ہاؤ ول یو سی اباؤٹ اٹ I mean, it's a very important meeting because Mulana Fazlur Rahman has said that he is going to lock down Islamabad in, in October. As the Prime Minister, after this, I mean, after UN, what happened in the UN, at home the situation is not very good. The Cabinet is, as you know, already on the cards and changes going on in the Cabinet. And Interior Minister, Shah Mahmood Qureshi as well is on the list. And other as well, Murad Saeed. And, um, and the three political parties and what is happening in Sindh, Governor Raj and who will, if the Governor Raj, if the Governor rule is imposed, then who will be the Governor, the current Governor or it has to be replaced. Amir Kiani went to Karachi day before yesterday, two days back, but uh, obviously he is not a senior, uh, as senior as they want, they would talk to Imran Khan, so obviously they would talk to him. So situation is all around very bad. The country is in chaos. In a rush, we have to go to the Asian Development Bank for our emergency $1 billion loan. The political parties are colliding together. They are holding their cards close to their chest and they are coming up for a shake-up. The aim is to get rid of this comment. As the Kamra Zuman Kaira has said, they are hoping for fresh election. or in-house change, which is which they call as minus one. So the situation, internal situation is exact replica or reflection of the external situation which is going on. Uh, so Imran Khan has to deal with this, but I think some sort of a chaos. Looking at the situation of the present government, do you think Imran Khan will be able to deal with this? I mean, he might ride over. He might smother the situation. And that is the test. If he cross this bottleneck, I think then the road is good for him. Because this is the lowest point and I mean this is a trough. And now when the ball is hit against the rock, rock bottom and it has no other way except going up. So, but bottleneck is very constricted, it's very close and it's very short. And there is a lot of sludge which is coming up, political style sludge, economic sludge. and um, FATF and all he's being grinded from all sides and that is the I mean that is the point where in, in his cricket terms when we say that just few balls are left a lot of score and the tail ender, ender is uh, betting and if he, the last person is out you are going to lose the match but despite that he has maintained his poise and composed his composition internationally in the UN But let's see, and one important news that is likely to come out is about Chaudhary Nisar. For the first time, for the, in many years, the Central Executive Committee is changing, it's, it's changing, and Chaudhary Nisar is uh, likely to be the victim. He, so, he's, he's not Tasab, don't you think that after leaving PML and Chaudhary Nisar's political career has ended? I don't think so. 
his career will end i think if he wins seat and uh, in punjab uh, of late you know he has he was poised as the chief minister coalition in coalition with uh, pti so if there is a change i mean nobody can argue on that we all agree that the performance of usman buzdar is very poor and if that is correct then change has to come uh, i mean something somebody can be a chief minister who is from outside now he is not with the central executive committee of the pmln he is an ordinary member so this in some sort of a loose situation so let's see what the situation throws but for imran khan situation is grave and i expect there would be a lot of chaos that's a fazur rahman has also been requested to let the delegation of uh, cwc so what will you say about it uh, where the let, he has been requested to let the delegation of cwc i mean uh, pmln is to uh, i mean just to guide them and just to share his opinion with us you see molana fazlur rahman has a street power of his uh, the children and the madrasa boys but the political power he lacks he don't have much seats in the national assembly and the, on the voting turf is not very good so these two parties who are good in the constituency politics and they are in the parliament then the forces outside the parliament and the forces inside the parliament would join hand against imran khan and the latest news is that the tehreek e al sunnat wal jamaat the famous one which gave i mean staged dharna on fezabad uh, uh, bridge and all they have also assured fazlur rahman that they are going to join him and their lot and number so uh, when we talk about him uh, molana fazlur rahman he represents deoband firqa which is not much in number but he has children but when we talk about the barelvis el sunnat wal jamaat they have the st- so the street power would be huge as well huge street powers and political coalition inside so difficult times for imran khan i mean difficult a, times for the system that's how we will continue with our discussion we'll take a short break here stay with us that's up cnic condition is to be implemented uh, from the beginning of uh, 30th september so what will you say about it i mean it's an attempt to raise revenue imf says that you must do but it's very un- imprudent as far as the government is concerned in pakistan over the years the cb fbr cbr and then fbr the system was very loose and nobody was paying tax especially the retailers and that is the and they are the supporters of uh, pmln and other parties who give send them to the parliament so if you don't pay income tax you don't register your income so you have income which is not registered and that income helps you to develop your venture and further that is invested in the business meaning by that it's the black money that promotes business investment because they don't don't take loans and other things when you are going to hit that there would be no investment you cannot go on venture so there would be no growth and that is the reason that the business is slack in this the economic condition has gone so bad so i don't think so it was so prudent so it, they should not it's not very prudent they should not have gone that way and what the uh, initial is, i mean if you you built a state system and cre- make credit available at a cheaper which is very expensive nowadays because of high level of uh, i mean this margin interest margin so they'll be in a difficult times you go shop give your cni say number and you are the customer so their income is when they file income tax return they'll have to pay according to that income tax return so they are in trouble and i think there should be some via media which should be find out that at least you are you are withdrawing a narcotic drug from a patient you have to see that the withdrawal symptom should not be so severe that it causes death or brings patient into shock so the economy is in a sort of a sh- close to going to shock because of this withdrawal sy- symptom and that is the crux of the i mean the negotiation but imf is pushing imf has done the same thing in egypt and the people are uh, out in the streets against the cc government so i think this uh, that's a very serious problem it's more serious than political 
Okay. So, but Taisa, don't you think that when you give your debit or credit card, the information uh, with about the card holder is with the bank. So, the shopkeepers can also take that from the bank. So, why are they? Because most of the people they are talking about the security issues. When, uh, when you give your a copy of your CNIC, that means they they can do anything with your CNIC. They can use the photocopy. For example, a person can even get a mobile SIM on your photo, ID cards for photocopy. So, how? No, you but say about biometric that? has to be done say, on the on the same. I mean, if you just cross it over and say only for this purpose, then I don't think so. There is much risk. But the thing is that the shopkeepers do not want to put extra effort into collection of data of their customer and all. They want to reconcile data at that place. That's why they insist. Of course, on the debit card, they can take from somewhere else. But it, I mean, it involves a lot of process and they'll have to individual custom. Why not to collect it on a central desk? That's why they are doing. So, that's of coming to JKLF workers, which are to be cross, which will cross LOC on fourth October. So, what will you say about it? I mean, if the diplomacy fails, then and the war is not on, then the something as the middle course has to take place. First, you become angry and say no right. You express your opinion. Then you become angry and start shouting and yelling on someone and go close to say, okay, I'll do that. Then you actually fight. So this this is the second stage because the diplomacy is not uh, given much fruits. India even did not lift the curfew. What to say about other things? Revoking, I mean, bring uh, restoring the status quo ante is is a far cry. Or talking on Kashmir issue, make plebiscite is I mean, it's it's gone. So that is the middle course. And what will happen? That's a modular approach towards uh, towards a war. It's situation is rumbling on on to that because if they cross the LOC they would try to stop it they would stop it with the force they would stop it with a military or brutal force and if they do that there will be there will be blood on the LOC the blood on that side the blood on this side and that is how the violence uh, start so that that is the first physical step that the JKLF is going to take that's a uh, we'll take a short break here stay with us Taisa, coming to the figure of the week, figure of the week we have today is 900,000. So Taisa, what will you say about it? I mean, these are websites and which the PTA has blocked for various reasons and the reasons giving carrying blasphemous and pornographic contents and the sentiments against the state, judiciary and the armed forces. I mean, always they are anti-state or anti-society. And these are two very valid uh, concepts and uh, the sites have been blocked and uh, worldwide they do it. It's nothing special in it. But the thing is that sometime uh, that can be used as a tool also by different players. But uh, the thing to see is that is this a solution or uh, should we find other solution on this? And that needs to be done. The standing committee was informed. And uh, the blasphemous contents obviously they carry, uh, they create mistrust, they create resentment in the society. As we all know, we don't have to mention that the cartoons, that the Charlie Hebdo. And it's very important as well from another point of view that the Malaysia, Turkey and Pakistan has announced in the UN that they are going to make a channel in English language to present a soft picture of Islam, to a true picture of Islam against the Islamic pho Islamophobia. So the blasphemous content is a part of an Islamophobia. First, they create that the blasphemy has this much punishment and that much. Then they say the Muslim. Tasab, don't you think that creating a channel only for you know Islam uh, will create more problems for them? No, it would be difficult to create a channel because because of the different sects in uh, Islam. But if they create and they promote, give good content, I think uh, that would help. Okay. Yes. So, uh, Taisa, uh, the committee which was told by the uh, PTA, the authority PTA on Thursday that citizen could launch complaints with the authority against the unlawful content. Yes. So, do you think that this will work? I mean, this will work, but what is unlawful? The Un content. They are the talking about the unlawful content. Uh, Uploaded. Yeah, the first thing is that they need to define that what do they what say is unlawful? unlawful? According to the law or that they need to go to the court it will uh, open up another Pandora box and uh, it might be uh, taken as another excuse to hit someone. 
So, it is both way, but I mean at some point in time the legal regime has to come uh, for this web content and all things. I think it is rumbling on towards that because it is unregulated at that point. So, I think the things are rumbling on towards that. So, do not you think that PTA should have started from the roots first instead of you know just uh, starting it directly? Roots means that they should have defined the unlawful content first and then they should move on to launch a complaint. Right now, they, they, they are not in a position to even, you know, take complaints because people will decide law and unlawful according to themselves. I mean, I mean, I mean the cyber law is already in existence and when you complain, you have to specify that the violator has the content, once, once who has uploaded the content has violated that clause of this law. So, without uh, specifying, you just cannot lodge a complaint. It does not complain that you do not lodge a complaint. You have to quote, he has done that, which is according to the uh, this law, clause this, sub clause this, it has violated this, and which is against the constitution. That in the very legal term, when you lodge a complaint, it is a legal complaint they are saying. It is not that I complain to someone that I mean in a very private way. So, they will have to refer to, but the more I Time will tell us that even if they have, uh, but it they are able to technically, they are able to, you know, file complaints or get complaints because this is what we have always seen that PTA usually gives an idea, but there is no implementation. I mean, that is another thing, but the biggest objection I think would become that it would be called as uh, unannounced censorship. Thank you so much, Tai Saab. This was today's Pakistan Next Week. Till the next week, Allah Hafiz.